Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down near the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. I will stop looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have been going back and forward for basically the last was a week and a half this is nothing really is ha happening here we're trading just above the 20 exponential mid, right in the middle of the middle of the bullish band at the top of the bullish band and uh, we have seen the highs of yesterday of 4228 uh, and we actually need to break above give or take 4250 in order to go to 4400 so technically the they are fairly mixed. MACD is flat. Stochastic is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. The CCI is, be, is still in bullish territory, but it's turning around. And the RSI is flat at this point. So if we were to break below the 20 exponential, then we have the 50 right underneath here at 4,130. 4, then we have the very lows here of 4,000, give or take 60. And then the bottom of the market should be around 4,000 break below there then we're looking at a drop all the way down to the 200 moving average down here at 3,767 so let's look at the uh, Dow Jones so very similar here in Dow Jones just trending basically sideways nothing really happening uh, rallied a little bit gave back some of those gains are rallying a little bit at the end of the US session but same here for these uh, technical indicators. MACD is flat. Stochastic is uh, crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. CCI is becoming bearish. And the RSI is technically flat. So until we basically break above, give or take uh, uh, 35,000, then we're not really going any further to the upside. If we go into uh, to the downside, we need to break the middle of the bullish band. Then we have the 50 down here at the 33,000 or 34,000. And then if we break these previous lows here, then we could be looking at 32,500, but still 50 moving average has been massive support in the past. So let's look at the NASDAQ. Very similar here. Uh, indices are, are technically not going anywhere at this current stage. NASDAQ is looking more bearish at this current date, but there's a lot of um, support right here at the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average. We have been going back and forward uh, roughly 1% uh, interval. And um, if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is becoming bearish. CCI is becoming bearish. And RSI is flat. So, yes, if you break below the middle of the bullish band, then we could go all the way down towards the 13,000. That should be the bottom of this market. But break below there, then we have the 200. And after that, massive to the downside. If you manage to take out these previous uh, highs here, and then we could see this market go to 15,500 15, or 15,500. So, um, yes, let's look at the German DAX. So after a really nice rally yesterday, we broke down a little bit and today we have just been, well, doing nothing at all. We'll probably have a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band as uh, we pull back from here. We can see that uh, technically the they are not a lot of help because they're all flat. So nothing really happening here. If you drop below, if you drop to the 20 exponential, that should be quite a lot of support there. But break below there, we have the 50 down at the 15,237. And then uh, give or take 15,000 should be the bottom of this market. If that breaks, then we are looking a drop towards the 200 moving average. Otherwise, to the upside, uh, 16,000, uh, give or take, should be at our first target. So let's look at the UK 100. So UK 100 continues the rally today. We got back towards the top of the bullish band, roughly 7,118, and then gave most of those gains back. Technical indicators are looking favorable to the upside, uh, but as we are fairly overstretched here, and we may see a pullback, and that will probably be bought into in the middle of the bullish band or probably even the very lows here of 16,941. You can see the last time we got down there, we it basically bounced all straight away towards the middle of the bullish band. So a lot of interest when it gets to the 50 moving average. So let's look at China 50. So you can see here, we did rally significantly uh, last week. And since then, we have been falling towards the support, which probably will be the uh, 20 exponential. 
uh, that is at 7,700, give or take. And that is also previous highs here before this breakout. So we'll probably drop to that, towards that point and then continue higher. If this breaks, then we have the 50 and the 200 moving average, which should offer massive support. Technical indicators are turning around for, uh, for this indice. And uh, yes, it is just probably just a matter of time before we continue towards 19,000. So hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support your channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.